Hi, my name is Phineas, and one of the problems I have nowadays is actually making a workout routine. I used to do a lot of workouts or plan my workout ahead of schedule before the day the day it was due, and this was like my, or I say a week before it was due. So this was like I used to plan a week ahead of time during um, that month or at that term or that semester. And this was like before COVID happened and the whole lockdowns happened and we got at home. I tried to keep up with it, but you know, it was like sitting down and relaxing. It was so comfortable. <laughs> Anyways, I am actually trying to get back into that. And I'm going to use C++, C++ program to actually make a, let's say, a solution that can solve that problem. And we're going to store that information to a vector. So... And I'm going to show you how to use vectors as well. So let's actually get started. So you're going to do hashtag include biostream. And then you're going to do, you want to call on your vector. And then let's use using name space stdf Spock. All right, cool. Now let's call on our main function. And since we're using a vector, let's call on our main vector. Just call forth the vector. So it can be called a vector. And it's going to be a string type vector. And we can call this workouts. There we go. And I will call on a couple of strings. I'm going to do a string for work. And let's, yeah, let's call work. That will be able to store our information for the list. And then we also want to out say what day we're doing a workout. So let's do another string and call it day. So they'll hold the day of the week when we're going to do the workouts. Cool. So let's actually do our, let's actually make the program now. Uh, since we already called our variables. So we're going to do a do while loop. Yeah, let's do that. I'm going to do in this loop, let's make the user interface. So let's say C out. Hello. Now, what we should call it? Let's plan your workout. And then we want to give a command for them to leave or, you know, tell us when they're done. So we can say done. All right. I would say to end list, say, no, let's not say type. <laughs> done. There we go, and let's end the line over here. And then we're gonna put a git line, cn and work. So we store the user's input into the string type variable work. Now we actually want to store the information inside work that they type into work into our vector. So we do workout dot push back and we do work. Awesome. And now let's make this create the current the condition for the user to end or we leave the do while loop. So we say work. They will continue this loop, but continue doing this when work is not equal to done. Unless work is not equal to done. Cool. Nice. And then we're going to do a workout stop pop back. So the last variable isn't repeated. Now we want to get the user's input for the day. So we're going to do C out 
what day of the week do you want to have? Oh, <laughs> spell that wrong. This workout. In line. And then we can do CN. And we store the use the use input in today. <clears throat> now let's see out their results. You plan on having space. Then we output the vector side. You plan on having blank exercises on output the day, and then we just want to end line. I like to have it right at the bottom. Return zero. Actually, let's run that one more time. Let's say workouts. Okay, I want to have 10 jumping jacks, 20 squats, and 15 crunches. Ah, there we go. Um, what day of the week do you want to have this workout? Let's say Monday. You plan on having three mini exercises on Monday. And I hope you guys like the way I performed for this uh, video. And I hope to see you guys next time. Bye.